Alright, it's day, uh, day 15. Um, it's been probably the most challenging couple weeks of my life. I'm um, halfway done with this 30 day challenge, but I just, there's no way I could have known how much I would hurt just being with myself. Like, I, I didn't realize how much I was hurting, and being aware of that is incredibly painful. It's like, you know, like, imagine, like, going for, like, three years on a broken leg, and then just, like, one day, like, you can start feeling pain again, and it's just like, oh, oh, this really sucks, like, this really hurts, like, why did I not start dealing with this a long time ago before it got so bad? And I don't know, it's, I'm going to be honest, I've been really struggling with my body image lately and just, it, it really sucks I, I feel like my genitals just bring me so much, um, so much pain. And it's like, I really didn't realize how much, you know, I had just been numbing myself out to that for years. Being trans is hard. I've been reading a lot about like sex positivity lately and it's you know it's it's been helping it's made, made me feel a lot less alone in the struggles that I go through and you know the difficulties being comfortable with my body but I don't know like at the end of the day, it's just like, I've never really seen anyone talk about how painful it is to, f to have genitals that don't match how you feel. And it's like, it's really easy to talk about sex positivity. Actually, it's, it's still really hard to talk about sex positivity without that, but with that like extra layer on it, it's like... trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle when half the pieces are from a different puzzle. And just like, it just doesn't feel like it fits. I really... I, I think that if there's anything that you you take away from this video as as a cis person because I know trans people already get it I guess but like the fact that gender confirming surgeries aren't covered by insurance is absolutely stupid it's like insane I I felt like Like, there are periods in my life where I thought I was gonna die just because of, like, how much pain I was in. You know, I've actually borderline died a couple times. And none of it's as painful as living a single day as a trans woman. Like, none of it. Like, the amount of pain that I have to go through on a daily basis is absolutely... It, it's insane. Like... You know, if anything else was wrong with me, if, like, you know, my heart was failing or literally anything, at least I'd have, you know, a claim with my insurance. But it's like, I, I've been just suffering for so long and it's just so hard to get the care that I, I need. I 
I just... I feel like trans people deserve to at least be in a position where they can try to be happy and it's just it's so much of an extra struggle on top of everything that I just don't think so many people so many people just don't understand um hug your trans friends they need it this shit sucks every day no matter what's happening it is it is there I really need some positive affirmations today, so I'm gonna do that, but just please understand how important this is, because I, I have dreams where I have a vagina and I don't want to wake up, like, I don't know how many people, like, I genuinely wish I was dead sometimes because it was less pain it would be less painful than what I'm going through now. I I wake up the the only thing that gets me through or the biggest thing that gets me through every day is like believing in a time that things won't be so painful. But it's like Human beings can only go through so much pain before they break, and I just, I wish people were more compassionate towards things that they didn't understand. I wish that people could come together and, and help people who are suffering. I wish that things didn't have to be so competitive. I think we deserve for things not to be so competitive and to have compassion in our lives. I think I'm going to start my affirmations there. We deserve compassion. I deserve compassion. I deserve love. I deserve respect. I deserve people to, to see my pain and to, to validate or to, to see it as authentic. You know, I don't need your validation, I just need you to understand that this is a real thing that I'm going through. Like, more than anything, just like, listen to me, this shit sucks. You don't, you don't want this? You can barely, you can't understand how much pain this is. You can't understand what it's like to go through this kind of struggle unless you've actually been going through it. And please listen to all of us who are telling you that this is unfair and we need something to change. We can't keep going on like this. I can't keep going on like this. So, I'm gonna leave some more positive affirmations. Cause Jesus fucking Christ, this is a really dark video, I'm gonna be honest. It really hurt um, to put this out there. I feel really scared to put a lot of this out there because it's like so much of my life people have told me that what I'm feeling you know doesn't matter or like oh just get through it like just push through it like no this this shit it's rough it, it sucks so much
Name love. Time light. Time beauty. And peace. I deserve to be treated with respect. I deserve people to acknowledge my pain. I deserve people to understand what it's like to go through this. I deserve to be loved and accepted for who I am. I deserve kindness. I deserve to be treated with kindness. I deserve to be treated with love. I deserve people in my life who do understand and to try to be there when they can be. I deserve to have a place where I can speak my mind, where I can speak my truth, and where I can be myself. I deserve to be comfortable in my own skin, in my own body, in this place, in this world, in this time. I deserve to be I deserve to take up space. I deserve to exist. I deserve to exist. Thank you for watching. Much love.